Welcome back everybody and today we're gonna talk about shortcuts. Why shortcuts? Number one, it makes editing fast and easy. Number two, a lot of professional editors are using shortcuts. If you are like me, you don't want to spend a lot of time in the editing process, this video is for you. Of course, you can go and customize shortcuts however you want, but today we're gonna talk about 18 shortcuts that comes within Premiere Pro by default. So let's get into it. Shortcut number one. Hit I to select the beginning of the clip and hit O to select the ending of the clip. Shortcut number two. To automatically insert this clip into the timeline, click on the comma key. Shortcut number three. Left mouse click plus R to duplicate the video with the audio. Duplicate only the audio or the video, Alt first then left click mouse. Shortcut number four. Select the clip then Ctrl plus L to unlink the audio from the video. Select them, then Ctrl plus L to link them again. Shortcut number 5. If you want to delete these top layers, this is how you normally do it. Delete first, then you need to bring those clips together. To do that automatically, Shift plus Delete to Ripple Delete. Shortcut number 6. Ctrl then drag this clip to automatically insert this clip in between those clips. Shortcut number 7. Instead of moving the clip with the mouse, this is not precise at all. Use Alt plus the R key to move up and down and left and right frame by frame. Shift plus Alt plus the arrow keys, this will allow you to move a lot faster. Shortcut number 8. This is how you normally you make a cut. You go and click on the razor tool, then you come, then you make a cut. Then delete. And this takes a lot of time. And the faster way to make a cut is by using a ripple trim shortcut. Click A to delete from the beginning of the clip and click W to delete the end of the clip. Shortcut number 9. Ctrl K to make a simple cut. Shortcut number 10. Use the up and down arrow key to move forward to the next clip or backward to the previous clip. Shortcut number 11. Ctrl plus this key to view your video on full screen. Shortcut number 12. Alt plus the wheel mouse to make the timeline bigger or smaller. Shortcut number 13. Use just the wheel mouse to move right or left into the timeline. Shortcut number 14. Control plus the wheel mouse to go up and down into the different layers of the timeline. This is helpful if you are working in so many layers into the timeline. You can go up and down easily. Right, shortcut number 15. Come here and press Alt, then use the wheel mouse to make any layer bigger or smaller. Shortcut number 16. Alt plus left click to control or trim just the audio or the video. Shortcut number 17. Press Y to bring the split tool. This skips exactly the clip where he is and lets you split forward or backward in time to find exactly the moment that you want. Shortcut number 18. Press L to play the timeline forward. Press L again to double the speed. And press L to double the speed again. And press G to do the opposite. Okay, so this was a couple of ways how you can use the default shortcut that comes within Premiere Pro to speed up your workflow. And now what I want you to do is to go into the comment section below and share with us any shortcut that you think people should know about. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because it helps this channel a lot. And I will see you in the next one.